We have to talk about Nightingales. We've got some really cool features of the game to share with you guys, such as the new realm card system, as well as general things you should know about the game to keep you up to date. So thank you to Inflexion Studios for sponsoring this video and make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below for more content just like this and let us know what you would like to know about Nightingale down in the comments below. Let's start off by talking about what Nightingale is as a gas lamp fantasy. Nightingale is a first person PvE open world survival crafting game that can be played both solo or cooperatively with friends. You're going to build, craft, fight and explore as you venture through these mystical portals into a variety of fantastical different realms. The game itself is set in an alternate history where there's fey magical beings that share the world with humans. For thousands of years they've helped guide humanity through the use of fey magic that allowed them to achieve different magical technologies that would otherwise only be matched by the progression of science and industry. Nightingale is a city itself that houses the center of magical studies and is the birthplace of realm walkers who are human adventurers who use and control the fey portals. Then in 1889 the pale, a mysterious and deadly miasma from the land of the fey overtook the earth and collapsed the portal network. Suddenly the remnants of humanity were lost in the realms and desperate to survive. This is where we come in as a a stranded and cut off adventurer from the world due to the collapse of the arcane portal network. This catastrophe has left us fighting for survival in the labyrinth of beautiful and dangerous fey realms. Our goal as a player is to become a skilled realm walker and navigate the web of transdimensional portals and it's only through these portals that we can discover our way to the magical city of Nightingale which is the last known bastion of humanity. And speaking of these portals let's talk about what realm cards are and how they work. Because realm cards are the key to unlocking access to new and different realms within the game and each will have its own environments, creatures and discoveries to be explored. Using these realm cards you can apply your own choice to what kind of realm you're going to open. To open a portal you will actually need to find an inert portal arc and provide direction and focus using the realm cards. As you explore the game you'll find magical ingredients that allow you to learn recipes as well as craft new realm cards themselves. When you're ready to open a portal you'll use a limited number of cards in combination with each other and the combination of realm cards that you choose will impact the type of realm that you're going to open through the portal. Some cards will have a major effect on the environment of your destination in the realm that you're opening and this includes things like the fauna and flora of the realms that you create. Others will have more specific impacts on different aspects of the realm such as the weather that you will endure and this can even have knock-on effects including how the creatures behave or how the plants thrive in that realm. For example you could create a realm that's overrun with dangerous creatures that's dark and battered by storms, or it could be a peaceful realm with an abundance of resources. Several areas you can expect to see include the fey wild forests, harrowing swamps, shimmering deserts, and shadowy jungles as you unlock the portals leading deeper into the lands of the Fey. The realm card system is also designed to be mastered through discovery rather than memorization of the cards and the different combos. Cards don't often have a singular and simple impact. They behave differently in combination with other cards and they impact the realm in deeper systemic ways. So these realms through the use of player selected realm cards use a sophisticated level design process that blends procedural generation with intentional design. The developers want the players to have the excitement of a freshly generated world without having to start a new game. And they wanted to find a balance where you can be surprised what you will find on the other side of the portal, but you're not at the whim of pure randomness. Now let's talk about the gameplay because Nightingale will have a blend of survival genre essentials that are infused with new mechanics and a bit of a twist. It includes things like quests, interactive NPCs, spells, enchantments, and other features that are yet to be revealed. Of course, you can adventure so or combine your strength with your friends for cooperative play and Inflexion games have an emphasis on making the game compelling for the solo player as well as those who choose to group up. Within the actual game itself you can craft tools to harvest trees, ore and plants along with other rarer resources that are found in deeper parts of the different realms. You can also discover new schematics and assemble equipment and weapons and using specialized ingredients and arcane technologies you can enhance your gear with magical properties. You can design and construct an estate from a variety of different styles and tile sets, 
upgrade and customize your structures, and even form communities to safely live off the land. You can recruit NPC workers to help expand your homestead, automate production, and even assist in resource gathering, and you can craft and wield a variety of melee weapons and firearms in first person combat. You're going to be confronting creatures that lurk within the portal network, fending off incursions and joining other players against colossal apex creatures such as the skyfallers that are these huge colossal giant monsters as well as these very interesting looking treebound spirit monsters i really can't wait to battle those but now we're going to talk about the platform the release and the studio itself it's currently set to release this year into early access in the fourth quarter of 2022 this means if you're a survival fan like me it's not too far away so i find myself getting quite excited for it it's of course developed and published by inflexion games which is a studio that was formed in 2018 by a group of industry veterans and it has since grown to over 100 passionate developers with a range of backgrounds including AAA titles such as Mass Effect, Dragon Age, Wipeout and the Far Cry series. Do make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below if you found this video interesting or helpful and of course let us know in the comments what you think of the realm card system. Make sure to check out the videos on screen now for the other videos that are already on the channel that we think will be perfect for you so make sure to click on the screen now so that you don't miss out.